Hello everyone, my name is James and welcome to my top 11 best movies of 2018. 2018 this year was a pretty remarkable year for most feature-length films, including live action, sci-fi, horror, and my people, puppets! But I'm not going to get into that right now. Right now, I want to share with you all my top 11 favorite movies of 2018. Why top 11? I don't know, because I thought it was a pretty cool number. So, here are my top 11 favorite movies of 2018. Number 11, A Quiet Place. Yes, I am a big fan of horror films, and the reason why I put this one on the number 11, well, I pretty much for me, it was just the best way to kill off a Friday night. Number 10, Mission Impossible Fallout. Again, that was just another one that was a fun Saturday night out. And I didn't really have any plans. Number nine. Avengers Infinity Wars. Yes, yes, yes. For most people, I am a huge comic book fan. Um, okay, I'll be honest. I never really read any of the comic books. I just enjoy watching the films. Not the, um, not the old ones. Some of the new ones I know. Uh, half of them are CGI and green screen. And everything is not there. But it was still fun for me to watch, and I thought, you know what, hey, The Avengers, yeah, that's pretty cool. Number eight, Incredibles 2. Yes, after so many years, after the first release, us fans were demanding for a second Incredibles movie. And we finally got it, years later. I'm actually really surprised that they got the full cast and crew from the first movie to come back in. Um, well, not majorly all of them. But still, for what it was, it was intense. Number seven, Deadpool 2. Yep, pretty much everything gets a sequel now. And well deserved, too. I really enjoyed the first Deadpool movie. So for them to actually do a second one was pretty much well deserved. And also, I get thanks to that movie for showing off the very first trailer of... I'm not going to say it, but you might guess what it is. And I announce it in this countdown. Number six, Black Panther. This one was hands down the coolest looking film I have ever seen. And that says a lot because I've seen a lot of movies. But this one was definitely hands down, well, well choreographed, well directed. Art direction was incredible. The cast was spot on kick ass. <gasps> yeah, it was really fun. Number five, Ralph Breaks the Internet. While I am a huge fan of Disney and hoping that um, we get to work with, uh, with the big mouse someday, um, the uh, first movie of Wreck-It Ralph, it was really cool. It was very memorable. So much memorable that they decided to do a sequel to it where they go, the internet. Oh! oh! Yeah, I actually made myself dizzy on that one. While I regained my composure, yeah, it was really fun. Number four, won't you be my neighbor? Now, first of all, I want to say one thing. I did not grow up with uh, Mr. Rogers. Um, I was more of a Sesame Street kind of guy when I was growing up. And plus, it was one of those shows that really represented puppets well. But after watching the documentary of who Mr. Rogers was and his backstory in life, it was really, it touched at my heartstrings, people. And yeah, it was, uh, it was one of those movies that actually made me, <clears throat> where it made me cry. And I don't, I don't cry often. So this one was, this one was good. Number three, Solo, a Star Wars story. While I don't really think that there should be any prequels or sequels that are unnecessary to certain things, Star Wars, on the other hand, it actually does show some pretty cool things. And it does give you a pretty interesting backstory on some of these other characters from these other films. Number two. Okay, so for my second choice, it was pretty difficult for me to actually try to figure out which movie should go in this category. So I'm actually splitting it up as a tiebreaker. And one of them is going to be Ant-Man and the Wasp, and 
Aquaman. Both of these movies are incredibly kick-ass action movies based on awesome superheroes. If you people haven't have seen this yet, definitely go check it out. Buy it on DVD. Go download it. Get it on Blu-ray. Definitely get it. And of course, the number one best movie, in my opinion, for 2018, you guessed it, The Happy Time Murders. This was hands down the longest movie to be ever made, especially considering the fact that most people tend to think that us puppets are only intended for families and children and all that yada yada happy bull crap. I'll just go ahead and say this right now. Us puppets can do so much more than just entertain younger audiences and families. And this movie pretty much shows it. While it did bomb at the box office, and I still say that Hollywood is responsible for that. While the movie did bomb at the box office, and it did kept on saying that why was this movie made because it was incredibly unfunny. Most people actually would disagree because this movie actually got some heavy praise in the Henson community. Brian Henson, who was the director of this movie and also well known for directing The Muppet Christmas Carol, Muppet Treasure Island, and involved in the TV show Muppets Tonight, was pretty happy to have finally made this movie because he really wanted to have a different tone of comedy. And of course, it was really awesome seeing the puppets from their improv show, Puppet Up Uncensored, to be involved in a full-length feature film. And my god, there was one puppet in here that was just incredibly, incredibly sexy. Now I'm not talking about her. There you go. Sheila. One of the rotten cotton girls. Huh. You're not talking about my Aunt Sheila on camera, are you? Dang. Well, there you have it, folks. My top 11 best movies of 2018. Now, I want to know, what are some of your favorite movies of 2018? Leave them in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching, and we hope to see you all again soon.